everyone welcome to another video i'm here in central oregon reporting from smoke central this is all uh smoke from wildfires that was started by lightning somebody please send this video to dji excuse me uh they have the drone technology to solve this problem okay back in 2015 i think i worked on this project to create fire extinguishing drones to fly out to lightning strike wildfires and put the fires out when they're tiny, right? And this is the technology that I developed to, to do it. This is a pressure system that pressurizes and then you shoot your fire retardant through there. That's carried by the drone. DJI, you can use pressure, you can use pumps to achieve the same uh, technique that I have achieved here, okay? So now, number two, there's these fire grenades, okay? Now the fire grenades are just balls, okay? So we need fire grenades that have been turned into little bombs. We need to have little tails on them and points on them, I think, to get a replicatable drop so you can, you know, technically you know exactly where that's gonna go based on the wind the height and you know whatever circumstances okay so now you have a drone that carries some sort of tank of sprayable shootable fire retardant and these fire grenades okay so now here, I'm just talking about the U.S. This will be applicable to all kinds of different places across the U.S. It may work a little different every place around the world. How it would work best here is to have those drones pre-stationed, some of them, in these uh, U.S. Forest Service observation towers that are around all over the place. Okay. Then a few more places that just have, you know, a good location and such to pre-locate these drones. More importantly is mass deployability. So here comes a, uh, a forecasted storm that's going to put a bunch of lightning in an area. Okay, now a, a semi-truck trailer based system that you can say, okay, we have got lightning strikes are gonna be happening here. So we're gonna pre-deploy these semi-truck trailers. The semi-truck trailers, just the tops fold open somehow to expose all these drones. Just masses of amounts of these fire extinguishing drones. Okay, now, they're pre-positioned out there. You know, you got all these ones that are already out on the uh, Forest Service, you know, and maybe they're in a state of low charge. Something's starting to get close. Their charger kicks on, takes them up to full charge. Okay, now you got those going at the fire. You got these coming at the lightning strike fires. Now they're only tiny at the beginning. They're just little. Okay, so now the drones are going. They're fighting the fire. Now, return to home is uh, where, here's another level of technology that needs to be developed, right? Is instead of having the drone just leave, which, you know, depending on how much distances and all this, there just needs to be a way for the drones to just basically go over somewhere and just, you know, land, and just wait to be picked up, right? So then this wait to be picked up, locating with drones, because you know, the remote areas and all this. So then a drone that can go and recover these drones, you know, like in the fog, like that was the middle of the night, this, all this lightning was happening. So those drones are just, they're dumping, they're coming out of the truck, some make it back to the truck, some of them land, random places some of them crashed okay so the following day you've got the recovery going on to 
to get those drones back into the truck and get them recharged, get them restocked with stuff, right? So that's a whole nother layer of technology, the recovery, okay? So somebody, please give this to DJI. Now, if you're a AI artist with video, I really want to make this scenario so people could just watch instead of me sitting here telling you about it so they could just watch like all that like a little mini movie you know all done out with ai right that would be amazing to open people's minds to the fact that they don't have to live with the damn smoke but we have to be more proactive there needs to be some burning going on in the off season there needs to be some eliminations in my personal area of these juniper trees are basically just out of control their numbers so that's kind of providing a fire source that shouldn't really be there in the numbers they are in the first place so there's a lot more to it okay but the system to eliminate the wildfires i mean dji you're right there. You just, I mean, some algorithms to work hive minds, these things, you know what I'm saying? Like, do it. Peace. Thank you for